assalamu alaikum dear students this lecture is about the verification of exclusive nor and exclusive or gates using the discrete components and in this lecture we shall verify the truth tables of the exclusive nor and exclusive or gate using the electronic workbench so let's start the lecture in this diagram you can see the symbols of the exclusive nor and exclusive or gate with their truth tables and you can see that when the input of exclusive or nor gates are same the output is high and when the inputs of exclusive nor gates are different the output is zero means when the a and b are same the output will be one and when the a and b are different the output will be zero so at zero zero the output is one zero one is zero and one zero is zero and one one when the inputs are same the output will be one on the other hand in case of exclusive or gate the phenomena is a bit different in this case when the inputs are same the output will be zero and when the inputs are different the output will be one so when a and b are zero the output is zero when the a and b are different means zero one the output is one and one zero it's again one and at one one it gives zero because the inputs are same so let's proceed with the construction of both exclusive nor and exclusive or gate for the exclusive nor gate we shall use the following circuit you can see the circuits we shall use two transistors with base resistance of 1 kilo ohm we shall use a collector resistance and we shall connect the emitter of the first transistor with the base of the second transistor the collector terminal of the second transistor will be connected to the positive terminal of the battery through a resistance and the emitter terminal of the second transistor will be connected to the base of the first transistor it's important to mention here that both the uh, transistors are connected in a way that the emitter terminal of the first transistor is connected on to the second transistor space and emitter terminal of the second transistor is connected to the base of the first transistor so uh, we shall take the input on the collector terminal of the second transistor and we shall use the 5 volt dc battery so let's uh, go to the electronic workbench where we shall design this circuit here we are in the electronic workbench and you can see that I have already dragged the battery switches two resistances for the base of the transistor one resistance for the collector of the second transistor one voltmeter one probe and one ground let's connect this circuit according to the diagram as we have seen in the previous slide so we shall connect uh, the transistors with the resistances then we shall connect the collector resistance and after connecting this resistance I will connect it with the battery positive terminal then I will connect uh, the switches with the transistors so I have connected the transistor with switches I have already assigned both of these switches with the keyboard A and B buttons so according to the diagram we shall connect the collector terminal of both the transistors here I have connected the collector terminal of both the transistors then as I have mentioned earlier that the emitter terminal of each transistor will be connected to the base terminal of the other transistor so emitter terminal of this transistor will also be connected to the base terminal of the second transistor then the upper part of the switches will be connected to the positive terminal of the battery to provide them logic high and the lower terminal would be connected to the negative terminal of the battery so I will connect uh, first ground then I will connect both of the switches with the negative terminal of the battery and it is important to mention here that ground will remain connected with this 
negative terminal. Now we have to draw the output from the collector terminal of the second transistor. You can see that we can draw output from this knot. We shall connect the prop. Then I will connect the voltmeter negative terminal to the ground. Okay. Now the circuit is complete and you can see that both of the transistors are connected in a way that the emitter terminal of both the transistors are connected with the base terminal of each other and collector terminal of both the transistors are connected and then through one kilo ohm resistance the collector terminals are connected with the 5 volt battery and that's on the circuit and you can see that when the inputs are same the logic is high the output is high so as I have 0 0 on the input the output is 1 when I apply 0 1 on the input the output is 0 means when A and B are different the output is 0 so let's try with the A 1 and B 0 you can see again that the inputs are different and the output is 0 and when I apply A and B at 1 now the inputs are same and the output is 1. So in this way we can design exclusive NOR gate. There is another circuit with which we can design the exclusive NOR gate. In this circuit you can see that we shall use 4 diodes along with the transistor and with 4 diodes and transistor and with these 2 resistance one on the collector and one on the base terminal of the transistor we can design the exclusive NOR gate. Okay, let's go to the electronic workbench where we shall design this exclusive NOR circuit. Here we are in electronic workbench and you can see that again for saving the time I have already dragged two switches, one resistance for the base terminal, one resistance for the collector terminal, one transistor and the ground, battery, voltmeter and the prop. Here it is important to mention that we shall use the model of the transistor of bipolar junction transistor okay then we shall select the bipolar junction transistor and the, after selecting it will appear uh, with the transistor okay now we have to drag the four diode you can see that you can find four diode here in the electronic workbench in the uh, diodes tab and you will drag this these four diodes and we can use these four diodes in forward direction and also in the backward direction by flipping. Okay, let's connect the terminal. We shall connect the base with the base resistance. We shall connect the base of the transistor with the base resistance. Then base resistance will be connected to the diodes. Then we shall connect the emitter terminal to, to the this side of four diodes then we shall connect the collector terminal with the collector resistance and collector resistance will be connected to the positive terminal of the battery then we shall connect the upper terminal of the switches with the positive terminal okay we have connected the upper terminal of the switches with the positive terminal and these two sides of the four diodes will be connected to both the switches okay and very important we have to connect the ground with the negative terminal of the battery and after connecting the ground we will connect the switches with the negative terminal of the battery okay after connecting the switches we can draw the output at the collector terminal of the transistor and here we have connected the voltmeter with the collector terminal and between the ground we can also connect the prop okay now the circuit is complete and you can see that when I press on and as the inputs are same the output is 1 and when I apply 0, 0, A and B are 0, the output is 1 and when I apply 0, 1, 
by pressing B button of my keyboard, I have applied 0, 1 and the output is 0 because the inputs are different. Now, if I apply 1, 0, A at 1, B at 0, the output is 0 and if I apply A is equal to 1 and B also is equal to 1, you can see that the output is 1. Now, again, the output is high when the inputs are same okay and the outputs are zero when the inputs are different okay so in the same way we can also design the exclusive or gate in case of exclusive or gate we shall use p and p transistor instead of npn transistor and we shall use the four diodes in backward direction instead of forward direction and in the same way we shall uh, design the exclusive OR gate and in case of the exclusive OR gate we shall use the resistance with the collector terminal of the uh, PNP transistor and here you can see that the collector terminal is connected with the ground through this resistance and the emitter terminal of the PNP transistor is connected to the second side of the four diode so uh, we can design the circuit in the electronic workbench so let's go there to design this circuit in the electronic workbench okay so we are here in the electronic workbench to design the circuit we can modify this circuit to uh, design the same exclusive NOR gate we can modify this circuit so I have deleted the transistor because we need a P and P transistor and I am going to delete this connection because we shall use an NPN transistor with the resistance and this part of the diode will be connected in the backward direction so four diodes will be connected in the backward direction so I will flip these four diodes so you can see that at the moment these are in the forward direction and when I flip them these have been now in the backward direction okay so we can connect the PNP transistor here okay so let's connect the circuit in case of P and P transistor, we have to connect the resistance with the collector terminal and with the ground. So, let's connect this resistance with the collector terminal and the ground. So, I have connected this 1 kilo ohm resistance with the collector terminal of the P and P transistor and the emitter terminal of the P and P transistor will be connected to the back, back side of the 4 diodes. And forward side will be connected to the base of the transistor using the resistance so I have connected this to the base of the transistor of PNP transistor and where we have to draw the output we have to draw the output again at the collector terminal but in this case the collector terminal is connected with the resistance and between the ground so the circuit is complete now and we can check this circuit I will press on button and you can see that when I apply A and B at 0 when the inputs are same the output is 0 and when I apply A is equal to 0 and B is equal to 1 by pressing B at 1 now you can see that the output is 1 the output is high means the output is high when the inputs are different okay so in case of exclusive or gate the output is high when the inputs are different so when I apply A is equal to 1 and B is equal to 0 again the inputs are different and the output is high and when I apply A is equal to 1 and B is also is equal to 1 and the output is 0 because now in this case the inputs are same okay so it's all about the exclusive gates so we have designed the exclusive OR gate exclusive NOR gate and 
it's all about today's lecture see you in the next lecture thank you allah hafiz